Nasira, are you ready? All right. So I'm going to put some food in my hand. And what we're practicing right now is called charging the mark. So we are, oh my goodness, of course I put it down and now I can't find it. What we're doing right now is we are getting the syrup to associate food with her, her clicker. I found it. So all I'm doing right now is I'm simply presenting her with food. Is this, her food is her reward, her treat and reward. And I'm, I'm clicking the clicker at the same time because I want her to associate the clicker with food and with reward. So this is how it works. You ready? You ready? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. So she's obviously not doing any trick or task or anything like that for this training. Uh, she doesn't need to. All we're trying to do right now is just get a hard association, a, like a, a hardwire association between the clicker and a reward. And I always say something positive as well when she gets her reward. Like I'll say, I usually say good girl. Some people say yes. Some people say jackpot. But I say good girl. I have no idea why, but that's what I do. And she is getting one sixth of her daily intake during this exercise. So I've got, <clears throat> she's going to know is that it because there's food in it. But I've got this little cup right here. And that little cup holds one sixth of her daily total amount of food. And then the rest of her food for the day is in this bag that says daily total. Um, she gets a full cup a day right now. So I just take that cup and I portion it out. And I even wrote on the bag what the portion is. It says one portion is two tablespoons and two teaspoons. And that gives me six portions per day. So that's six training opportunities a day. And she's very annoyed right now because I've interrupted her training exercise. Because I started with, let's go to work. All right, you ready to go back to work? Mm. <laughs> what? That's your opinion of this? Mm. Oh, you guys missed it because it was off camera, but she just had, a, she's tired. She had a puppy on. Okay, you ready, baby girl? Are you ready? Good girl. Good girl. So Nasira never eats out of a food bowl. Um, this, she literally eats out of my hand, always. Um, this will change, obviously, as she gets older. Uh, once she's in, by older, I'm talking like two, you know, a year and a half, two years from now. Basically, once she's really fully trained. But from, from here and on out, <laughs> hi, baby, throughout her puppyhood, girl this is how she will be fed is through the reward system um, she doesn't get any special treats of any kind whatsoever um, so if anybody's thinking of getting her anything um, you know if you want to get something for the puppy don't get her treats <laughs> she doesn't get treats um, she loves to chew on things because she is a puppy and she is a pit bull so she loves to chew on very strong things She's very good at destroying stuff. Last one. Good girl. Good girl. So, sorry, I should have placed the camera better for this. You're not getting a lot of puppy here. There we go. There's a full view of Nasira. And you can see her little vest on her. And she's got little stickers on her that say, Please don't pet me, I'm working. And I actually, she struggled with the vest when I first tried to put it on her. Um, she fought me and fought me and fought me. So I turned it into, I, I kind of started the training early. She's very curious about the camera. I started the training a little bit early. Hey, Nasira, you missed one. You know, you missed one. And the funny thing is, is because we're doing this charge the mark training, I just picked up one piece of kibble. I have to use the clicker when I present it to her. Hey, trying to get your attention, dog. Good girl. Good girl. Because she's got to have that hard line association between the clicker and food 
as a reward for doing a task. I, like I said, at the moment, all we're doing, there's no task involved. She's just, we're just hardlining the association with the clicker and food. Um, and we're going to do that every single day uh, for the next week. <laughs> and then we'll move on to some other stuff that will actually involve her sort of doing tasks. But the one thing she does already, and I'm going to pull this off of the tripod so I can follow her. The one thing that she does already for a reward is she puts her harness on and off. Eh, eh, eh. And she's not allowed on my bed because in the first week you have to be mean. You gotta be evil and you can't let them on the furniture because the first week is about showing them who's boss. And I'm in charge of the furniture. Okay, Nasita, you got that? I'm in charge of the furniture. I know that this is the pathetic face that I get. Like, I, 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 I don't, oh, 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 you're killing me, honey. You are absolutely killing me right now. All right, I have to end the video because I have to go in the bathroom and ugly cry for like torturing my puppy by not letting her on the bed. But, um, and I interrupted my story about the vest. But anyway, so um, that's an example of how Nasira is being trained. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you want to help with Nasira's training, then you can go to GoFundMe.com and do a search for a campaign called A Service Dog for Ottilie, O-T-T-I-L-I-E. And you can donate a little bit and help me pay for the puppy pads that she likes to chew up. Okay? You want to say goodbye, Nasira? Nasira, you want to say goodbye? Oh, now you're camera shy, huh? Now you're camera shy? Say, say ma'asalama. Say ma'asalama. All right. Bye, everybody.